um, which is uh, these football analogies. Um, one uh, paragraph 74 in Sir Tom's report: one or other of us is going to end up being substituted, and um, the uh, the phrase five nil down at half time. And um, Sir Tom says that the commissioner. Um, uh, told you that uh, she understood the phrase as a threat to her continuation in office. And then at paragraph 75, Sir Tom, you say the mayor, um, uh, one of your question, queries is whether the mayor threatened the commissioner with removal in his substitution reference. And then on paragraph 78, um, you, you conclude uh, that you consider it more plausible that the mayor's choice of language was intended as a failed threat if actions were not taken. Um, now, I just want to kind of just go back to where this these two football analogies um, came from. And um, I just wonder if, if Mr. Mayor, if you could, uh, could share... This, yeah, kind of could just explain a bit more about this language. Sure. Uh, so so th they came from the meeting on the 2nd of February, uh, uh, where, we'd, where we, the first time we met after the Hotton report was made uh, public. Uh, that's, wh that's where the reference came from. And, um, and do you, uh, d did you see them being being connected or did you see them as being, oh, yeah, were they well, two separate? Well, no, the, 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 commission, the commissioner just, didn't appear to understand the scale of the problem we had. We're, we're talking about a seminar sometime in the future to discuss comms. I've just read out what appeared to me prima phase of criminal offences, uh, systemic cultural issues, overt sexism, racism, discrimination, homophobia, and so forth. And we're talking about a seminar sometime in the future. Uh, she had two years to go, I had three years to go, and I said, look, by the time we get to the root cause of this, there's a danger of both of us being substituted. What um, did, 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 had you been discussing this with the Home Secretary in this period of time? Yes, yeah, so the Home Secretary and I had a, a number of conversations. Um, so we had a conversation uh, back in. Uh, so, so if you remember, there were reporting restrictions in the Everard, in the in the Wayne Cousins case. Uh, he, he's the certain police officer found guilty of murdering Sarah Everard. Those reporting restrictions meant we weren't aware of the full circumstances around either uh, Cousins or some of the other officers until late in the day. So the commissioner's contracts extended after the Sarah Everard murder, but before full details are made uh, public. And, uh, and so what happens is um, the Home Secretary and I have a conversation uh, after um, the verdict comes out. So, uh, and we also discover there's another police officer who has been charged with very serious uh, offences. And by the way, we're still now learning about more offences your point about how much desire does the M MOPAC know often we don't know uh, th until until the same time as you so on the 1st of October I wrote to the Home Secretary uh, in relation to my concerns uh, that arose from uh, the, 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 mm -hmm. the report nutrition being lifted in Cousins on the 3rd of October uh, and by the way I spoke to the Commissioner that weekend she at no stage mentioned to me about the other officer I discovered later on when it broke in the media uh, about the other officer. My office was informed just in advance of that. So on the 3rd of October, uh, when I'm told about another officer uh, being arrested and charged, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm disappointed the commissioner has not told me this when I spoke to the day before on the Saturday. Um, I wasn't told this. So on the Sunday, uh, I speak to the Home Secretary and I, uh, and I say to the Home Secretary, I think the Met Police Service put themselves in a bad place. They're too reactive. They are too slow. I subsequently speak to the commissioner. This is Sunday night, uh, and the words I use with the commissioner is "last chance saloon." Mm -hmm. This is uh, Sunday, the third of October, um, and I then spoke with the Home Secretary again on the fourth of October, Monday. It was during Conservative Party conference. I know this because the Home Secretary spoke to me uh, in the morning, and she also was having doubts about the commissioner. She then went to have breakfast with the Prime Minister, uh, who'd been speaking to the Policing Minister. Um, I said to the Home Secretary, my own confidence had been shaken, uh, and she uh, said that we should work together to hold the Commissioner to account. 
What about in that period, though, um, around the 2nd of February, were you, did you have any contact with the so Home Secretary office, so, then? So, so my office was in contact with the uh, Home Secretary's office. The Home Secretary was aware. I was, meeting the, I was meeting the Commissioner on the 10th of February, and someone from the Home Sex Office uh, was in contact with someone in my office in the afternoon of the 10th of uh, February. And what was the Home Secretary, did the Home Secretary have the same concerns as you at that point? I, I, I didn't speak to the Home Secretary on the 10th of February, I don't want to put words into it. Okay, okay. Thank you, Chair, that's all I want to ask. Okay, so Tom, was there anything you wanted to pick up on that? Um, not really, I think we're going over ground that's already in the, uh, in the report. Um, I make the point that um, uh, the mayor says that the IOPC report revealed criminal offences. I think there was at least one criminal prosecution, but the reality was that uh, uh, the officers in question who were guilty of receiving and not reporting the offensive WhatsApp messages were subject to a disciplinary procedure, but they did not meet the threshold of misconduct in public office. The officers who were the authors of the, of, of the offensive messages were dealt with much more severely and um, one has to have regard to the discretion of the prosecuting authorities in question. I am aware of no case where the prosecuting authorities' exercise of discretion has been successfully judicially reviewed uh, because that discretion is a very wide one. The other point I would like to make is that the plan which the mayor asked the uh, commissioner, required the commissioner to produce, was about much more than communications, and it was a joint plan for the reasons I've explained in my report.